Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about solving rational equations. And we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, 1 over 3x squared equals x plus 3 over 2x squared minus 1 over 6x squared. But what I want to do here is I want to have these two to have the same base. And for them to have the same base, I need to multiply this one here by a number. Now that number is going to be uh, 3 over 3. Okay? 3 over 3. Why did I choose 3 over 3? Well, 3 times 2 gave me that 6, right? So then I have a 6x squared in the denominator, and that's really what I was looking for. I put 3 in the numerator because, well, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and multiplying uh, a, anything by 1 over 1, which is just 1, or 3 over 3, which is just 1, excuse me, doesn't change the item itself, okay, the term itself. So I'm not really changing it, I'm just making it look different, okay? So I'm going to have a negative, or a 1 over 3x squared on the left, and then I'm going to leave that 3 distributed up top, x, or not distributed, uh, 3 over x plus 3 there, but I have 6 now, x squared, and then we're minusing 1 over 6x squared here, okay? Now, what I can do is combine these two here, so in combining them, I have 1 over 3x squared on the left equals, now up top I'll distribute as well, so I now have 3x plus 9 minus 1 over 6x squared. Now what I'm going to do is bring the 6x squared to this side, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 6x squared. It's over 1, really. That eliminates the 6x squared here, eliminates the x squareds right there, Leaving me, oh well, 6 divided by 3 comes out to be 2. So we have 2 here equals, and then 9 minus 1 is 8. So we have 3x minus, or plus 8. Whoops, plus 8. Okay? So now we're solving for x. Pretty simple at this point. We subtract 8 to both sides. Giving me a negative 6 here equals 3x. Divide by 3 to both sides. And hopefully we can see flipping it here. You're getting better at that. Uh, divide by 3, um, negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2 and x is equal to a negative 2. Okay, we kind of wrote that up here. So now we need to check that work, check to see if we have an extraneous solution. So we check that, so we rewrite our equation, 1 over 3x squared is equal to x plus 3 over 2x squared minus 1 over 6x squared. We plug negative 2 in for x, so we have 1 over 3 times negative 2 squared equals negative 2 plus 3 over 2 times negative 2 squared minus 1 over 6, negative 2 squared. Okay, Oof. negative 2 squared comes out to be 4, okay? So we have 1 over 3 times 4 there, and negative 2 plus 3 is a 1, and negative 2, I'm going to kind of do it all together here, negative 2 squared is a 4, times 2 is a 6, uh, is 8, <laughs> do I even know math, is a 8, positive 8, minus 1 over negative 2 to the second power is a... Uh, Oh, is a, oh my god, a second, 4 uh, plus 6 uh, times 6 is 24, okay? And then tops 1, 1, we're good. And so now, now we need to combine these two fractions. Well, 1 eighth, I can rewrite that to be 3 over 24, right? And multiply both by 3 over 3, so we can subtract the two fractions, 1 over 24 here, okay? Because, yep, 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 we're good. So, uh, I have now 1 over 3 times 4, which is 12. We subtract them here. 3 minus 1 is 2, so we have 2 over 24. We combine the two fractions, 1 over 12. And 2 divided 4 is 1 12th. And there we have it. Left and right were equal. Fantastic. Confirm that x is equal to a negative 2. So let's recap. We're given 1 over 3x squared equals x plus 3 over 2x squared minus 1 over 6x squared. I rewrote this. I multiplied uh, this first fraction right here uh, on the right-hand side by 3 over 3 to keep, make sure I have the same base. Once I had that, I then can combine the fractions on the right-hand side, then I multiply both sides by 6x squared. That left me uh, with 3x plus 8 there after I subtracted the 1 from the 9, and when I did that, on the left-hand side, I cancel out, well, just the 2. I subtracted 8 to both sides and divided by 3, giving me x equals a negative 2. I rewrote my equation, plug negative 2 back in, then check. What that check did was confirm that I had 1 12th is equal to 1 12th, all right there which is true, fantastic, making my final answer confirmed being x equals a negative 2.